This video tutorial shows how to send links to a Microsoft Teams channel, and you can even add a description to it. The best part is that we don't have to write a single line of code, as we will use the free browser extension called Pixiebricks. Pixiebricks hired me to make educational content. I'm Anders Jensen, and what I want you to do is to open up Microsoft Teams and Google Chrome and start building with me. Let's first set up Microsoft Teams and a channel that we want to post the links to. I'll use my own Teams and you can find your team here in Teams. And my team is called Anas Jensen Org. Your team is 100% called something else. But click the three dots here if you want to create a new channel, else use one of your existing channels down here. I click the three dots here and then I click Add Channel. I will just call this Links where I will post all my links and messages to. I won't choose a description this time. Privacy, everyone on the team has access. I could choose to make it private so only I can see it, but that's fine. Then I click Add. So now we had the channel here called Links. That's where all our links and messages will go to. To get the address to this link so we are able to post uh, links and messages to it, then we click the three dots here. Then go down to Connectors and click that. Here we will create a webhook. A webhook is simply just an advanced URL. It's a URL that is very long with a code in it so that only we can access this channel. That also means that you shouldn't be sharing this address that we're creating now and I'll definitely delete this after one and create a new one. But here in incoming webhook, click configure. A few seconds will went by and we will provide a name for the incoming webhook. Since I want to post a link in my own name, I will call it Anna Jensen, like this. I could add a parenthesis saying Pixiebricks or from Pixiebricks, like this. There you go. Uh, the default image, wouldn't it be nice if there was a portrait of Elf me so everyone in my team could see that I will send the links to them? I think so. So I click upload image and then I find a portrait of myself. I have one here called Anna Jensen Org Portrait. Then I click Open. There you go. Then I click Create. Now we have created the integration in Teams. We just need to copy this URL down here. Simply just click Copy here. We will use that later on. Now we can set up the whole thing in Pixiebricks and then we can make the integration. Let's recap what we want to do. We want to be able to save every link that we're going through in our browser journey and we want to also add a message. We will use the free browser extension called Pixiebricks, so let's install that. You can go to pixiebricks.com and then either choose to sign in here or click start for free up here. Here you will need a Google account or a Microsoft account. I have a Google account, so I click here. I'll say yes to link my Google account to Pixiebricks. There you go. Now we need to install the Chrome browser extension. So I just click open Chrome web store. Here I'll add Pixiebricks to Chrome. So just click here. I'll allow it. So I click add extension. There you go. We have installed Pixiebricks. Now we will make the integration from Pixiebricks to Teams and then we can create the whole flow in Pixiebricks. Now we will open the browser extension so we click this big blue button here. You'll see this page. In case you don't see it, you can always find the extension by going up here to extension in Google Chrome. Find Pixiebricks here. That one will be here. Otherwise you can click manage extension and find it here. Make sure it's enabled. But ours is, so everything is fine. Then we go back. So we have this page here. Now we will create the integration from Pixiebricks to Teams and then we can create the flow that actually do what we want. So I click integrations. Here we will create a new one. So we click add integration. I will just search for Teams Pixiebricks already made this possible for me. I don't need to do nothing. So I just click this one here. I click configure. Here we need a name. I can just call it Microsoft Teams, oh, let's have a capital here, and then we need the URL. This was the URL that you found on your Teams webhook. You remember we created that one. It looks very complicated, but that is so no one can access your channel. Then I click Save. So now we have created the extension. It's time for the fun part. I want to be able to save every link and short message to my Teams channel. Let's create it. 
what we start with. It's finding a random news page or a blog page where we want to save our links from. Of course, this solution will work from any web page, but you will just need one to work with. I will choose my personal blog, but feel free to choose anything you want. So I open a new tab, type in anasjensen.org. That is my homepage. From here, I'll go to blog. Here I have some articles and I want to save some of these. Let's just take this one, tag UI beginners course. Now let's create it in Pixie Breaks. To open up the browser extension tools, click F12. That's it. You'll see this. In case you don't see it here in the bottom, say you see it in the right, simply just click the three dots here and make sure you are docked to the bottom. That's it. You can also arrange the size here. So I'll probably make it this so I can still see the web page and I can see my tools here. You'll see that we have installed a Pixie Bricks tab here, so I'll click that one. Here I need to enable Pixie Bricks on Anasian Snork, so I click this blue button and I click allow. So now I can start to add my quick bar. What I will do here is that I'll go to add and click this drop down. Take the quick bar. I'll create a new quick bar here. That's it. Let's give our extension a new name so we can easily identify it if we choose to build more flows. So I will just call this send selection to teams like this. The action title that could be sent to teams, send to teams. This one will show up in your action bar. So make sure you choose the describing name. Then I'll go, go a little bit down. I'll choose to make it work on all URLs. So I click all URLs here. That's it. Also scroll a little bit down and click all URLs down here. So now we have created the first one. This is just to make Pixie Bricks show up and then we can run this flow. Let me show you and I click save here. So click allow up here. So we are saving the extension and say that we are browsing a page. That could be this one up here. I just press control K and now we have a nice little thing we can click here. Nothing will really happen, you can see, uh, because we haven't configured it. One thing that we might be missing, shouldn't we add a nice looking icon so we can see that this is to Teams? So scroll a little bit down here in icon, click it and search for Teams. You'll see that there's one called Microsoft Teams. Click that one, that is a nice Teams logo. Again, we save our extension and we can try it again. So up on your web page, it could either be here or totally other one. This one is saved. I just click Control K. There you go, we have a nice icon now. So we haven't built anything except we have, we can press Control K and we can see this one here. But let's do the rest. Because we want to be able to not only just save it here, but we want to be able to add a short comment to it so the user can, see, can say to his team, that will be my team here, say, hey, this one looks cool. So I go down here and while I'm still here, click the plus sign here and add another brick. So I click the plus. And here you will find a show a model or side by form here and click add brick. Now we can configure this one here. The form title, let's just call this description because that's what it is, like this. Then we can scroll a little bit down because one field is already added, you can see it over here. The name, well, this one is called example and this is just for reference. So when we want to refer to this field later on, we can refer to it with example. But since ours is a description, I'll call it that. Now we can uh, customize what we want to view to the user. So this example field and add example from field. The label that could be add a description of the link like this. And here you can see a little guide to the user. I'll just call this one link description. There you go. Then scroll a little bit down. We will allow for a single line of text. That is just how big this one should be. We can add uh, multiple lines or a paragraph. But since this is just a short description of the link, I'll stick with this. There'll be no default value. So this is not a required field. We can find just let the user send his or her link to our Teams channel without writing any description. That's fine. It's also a cancelable form, so we can click cancel if we regret doing this. There's a submit button that is called submit. 
we could say teams. So the button is named teams that will might look a little bit better. We can scroll a little bit down and we have all the settings that we want for this form. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is the form can be referred to as form. Uh, you'll see up here. You can also see these guides in case you are in, in doubt of anything in Pixabricks, you just click these guides and that one will provide a short description of what's going on. So this one is referred to as form. And if we want to get what's typed into this field, we can refer to this one called form. Then we can add a dot and say description. I'll show it to you in a little while. Don't worry. And similar, this one up here can be referred to input. You can see it here at input. Now let's create the card that will actually send our information to Teams. We got everything we needed. Click the plus here and then say send card to Microsoft Teams at break. There you go. The text that should just be the exact thing that we created from up here. Remember, we uh, prompt the user to give a description of this thing. So that will be forms, a form, and then whatever he types in here or she. So that will be description. So if I go down here and then I scroll a little bit up. So I go up here in text and we, since we are referring to a variable, so click this drop down over here and say variable. Now I can refer to this variable. So I say at and then I'll, it was form dot description. So now we get whatever the user typed in here. Then we just want a title here. We will provide the URL and a little bit info about the page. So that could be, for example, check out the page or maybe this page. And then we will refer to the variables in from the input form up here. And to do so, uh, just to inspect them, let's go back to this input here. Here you can see that we can actually have some input here. I want to use, uh, since this one uh, is the URL, that one is important, so I can, from my other participants in the Teams chat, can click this one here and get it to this page. That one is important, so the users of my Team chat can easily go to this page that I can recommend them. I also want a provider that is Anas Jensen. Here we can see this one is called URL. This one is called provider. I can click this property to copy it. So that one will be the URL. So if I click copy here, you can see copy property, property path to the clipboard. So I don't have to do anything myself. Then I go back to the send card to Microsoft Teams because we are, we are about to do something. Check out this page. And now I can just paste it in. That one will be the input URL. Here I want to add two curly brackets in front and in the back. That one is variables. Since we are writing a text here, you can see that we chose the text because we have some text. Then we need these curly brackets. So now we have the input.ul. You can, of course, also write it yourself. Then I'll say on. And again, I go back to the input. Because I want uh, the provider that is Anna Jensen, that is the name of this page. So I click copy again here. I go back here. Since we now know we need these curly brackets, I put in the curly brackets. Then I paste it in. Two more curly brackets like this. Now we're done. Our flow will work. Uh, and shouldn't we try it? So if I go up here, I want to send this in. And to send this in, I simply just press Control K. Uh, I'll say send to Teams. Then I need a description. Here I'll say, check this course, it's great. Then uh, the entire team will get this description. I'll click Teams, there you go. Now let's go to Teams. And uh, we click Done here. Let's move outside and see if we have um, enabled it. And with a nice little description here, and we have the link and we have the name. And this one uh, not only work on this side, if we try to open up a new tab here, and then I could go to TechCrunch like this. I just need to find the address here. That is one of my favorites. I click accept all. Then I scroll a little bit down and maybe this article is great. So again, I press control K. You see, we still have it. I click send to teams. And since I haven't really read this article, I just say great article. Then I click Teams, there you go. I go back to Teams and we have it here. Great article, check out this page. Then the URL is here on TechCrunch. I can even click the URL. That one will open up the article. 
So of course, this is really awesome and easy. If you want to learn more Pixie Bricks, click the link in the middle that will teach you all about Pixie Bricks. Because in this video, even though it was so cool, we only scratched the surface.